Today is a very exciting day since I haven't had any Aurora or any top shelf medical in a very long time. So I thought it was quite fitting and appropriate to get myself some pink diesel. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome YouTube world, Sunday subscribers. My name is Katie, if you don't know who I am, I'm a medical patient over here in the UK and I provide advice and reviews just like this one on such flowers that we can get in the medical world. So, like I said, this is quite an exciting one as I haven't had any decent medical for a long time, especially Aurora. So the last time that I did a review and would have had any Aurora is this long ago. So I don't know how long that is. I'm going to shove it in the video, but this is why I have just not had any money basically to do anything. And it's, it's just, you know, you have to go for the bottom of the barrel sometimes, don't you? As this is £8.50. So it's the same as sourdough and farm gas, modified gas, the usual. But you, when you're used to getting like, you know, £5.50, £6.50 a G, getting that £8.50 a G is a treat at the end of the day, right? Especially in this current climate, right? It's an actual luxury and a treat. So I decided to treat myself to some pink diesel. I haven't a clue what this is like i haven't looked online or anything like that so i'm hoping that i'm gonna have the same sort of experience as i remember which is open up the pot rip open the seal and just be met with a beauty of fragrance first and foremost and then look down and see some beautiful buds to match so i'm hoping that this is the case and those of you that have had pink diesel from aurora is this one of your favourites? Like, I know there's quite a few different strains. They've got Kimango Kush or something as well, which I need to try, and a few other ones that I need to try. But what do you think about this one before I get into it? I'd love to know. So, for those of you who don't know how my reviews go, then I'll just quickly tell you what we do is we pop open the lid just so we can show you right here that this is completely sealed, right? So this is how your medical would come, the exact same as this. And what we do is we uh, we pull the seal first and get a nice little whiff to see whether... Okay, see whether it hits. That is not as hitty as I thought terrible grammar but i know that you know what i mean i've smelt this before okay i'm gonna look at it yeah okay i expected it yep all right i expected it to look as such clean trimmed nuggets by the looks of it not too much shake i'm gonna get it out on the white paper and we're gonna do a proper short review so that you guys can see this but the first impressions is very much the aurora looking i mean it's a bit it's a bit dry i don't know let's get it out on the paper and have a look shall we all right let's have a look so it is quite dark like for sure definitely that needs to be like mentioned first and foremost um, because I have a little bit of uh, Tripoli here and the stark difference in colour, uh, not necessarily on this part, but there's definitely a difference in colour, right? So it's it's looking good. It's looking nice and trimmed. So if you remember on one of my last reviews, which I'll pop a link up here, I was very, very upset with the level of haste shall we say, that they seemed to have trimmed the buds with. Um, I don't know if that was just that that batch or whether that was something that, you know, was, was a regular thing. But this looks nice. It does. The buds aren't as big as modified gas um, and sourdough, I believe. However, there is a good amount, right? So there's not much shake. There is definitely, yeah, there's definitely some, like, proper dark flecks in there. But I'm thinking it's the consistency there. Like, oh, oh, oh my 
might just break that in half. I was squeezing it just to see what the you know density of the bud was and just bloody broken off on me. Um, okay, all right. This might be a little dry. This might be a little dry. What are you saying? What are you saying? People that have had the pink diesel, what are you saying? Did it come out super dry like this? Is this fairly dry? Um, doesn't mean that that's bad, obviously. It's just I wasn't expecting it to be so dry being that brand. But nevertheless, let me film my short so that you know exactly what I'm looking at. And that will be pinned to the comments. So you can go ahead and literally look at what I'm looking at right now. And then I will be back. All right, short is done. Um... And yeah, the last thing to say about this is that this one was cultivated in Canada and packaged in Germany. So, yay! No Portugal! Yay! No Macedonia! Yay! So, this is going to be a nice little treat. Hopefully, it's really, really nice. And there is a reason why I picked this one over some of the other Auroras, if you were wondering. And I will let you know when I come back after I have medicated with it. Later. Oh well, that was an enjoyable experience until I forgot how much gases make me cough. So, I would not recommend smoking this during the day because, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know whether it's because I haven't had the big hitters for a while. And, like, if you guys do, then you're used to it. But, oh, my immediate gas. Like, literally, gas and spice is the most prominent that you will get out of this. Um, it is an indica hybrid. But what I will tell you now is <coughs> that indica is very, very dominant. So if you like your gases and you like your flavour full flower i forgot the word then <laughs> this is great this is really nice um this i can imagine is going to be amazing for sleep now this is the exact reason why i picked this so if we go to oh it doesn't tell you the actual percentages but um you can see that that's you know quite a decent chunk so this is why i got this and it also has the beta pinene in it um, I'm probably saying these completely wrong, but this will give you like that spicy, gassy kind of mix. And there was definitely like a different flavor on the exhale through your nose. And I might be weird saying that, but it really was. It was like gassy exhale with your mouth, then like a more peppery, spicy flavor with your nose like i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know does anybody know what i mean let me know down below if you understand what i'm saying there but for eight pound fifty like mate this i'm telling you now just sent like sent me straight back to farm gas and the modified gas right and not so much parve parve s1's got a different sort of flavor to it but this one I would recommend, if you're a farm gas person, sourdough person, like, all of that, right, and they're out of stock, this is a great substitute, like, massively great substitute. I really like this, but there is no way that I'm having that during the daytime. Like, absolutely not. It was super powerful. Again, don't know if that's because I haven't had it in a while and my tolerance isn't great to these ones or whether it literally is just that much, but... Another thing to note is it is beta irradiated, so you've kind of got that <coughs> from that maybe as well, but overall, oh mate, it's lovely. It's it's absolutely lovely, but I wouldn't go taking it all during the day. I'd make sure that you have some sort of sativa or lower indica hybrid to get yourself during the day, and then this is going to send you to sleep, and this is going to give you the munchies as well, so like, I'm hungry now. I'm going to end the video and go and get some food. So recommend this. Pink Diesel, Aurora. But don't get it if you ain't got tolerance because I got tolerance and that still kicks my ass.
I love you guys. What do you think about this? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But until the next time, thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video if you want to see more videos like this in your feed. Subscribe if you vibe. And I will see you next week. And I'm thankful and I'm like for the fans that love the listeners. Yeah, and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful even for the ones that don't believe in us.